We are remembering those killed 25 years ago this week at Columbine High School in Littleton. Yeah, their families finding new ways to keep their memory and legacy alive all these years later. Including at a small school in California started by a man with a close connection to Columbine victim Lauren Townsend, who was inspired by her impact. One of our mantras is, you know, keep doing good. They never even yeah. met. You're trying to get in the middle of it all. But Eddie Miguel is inspired by her every single day he walks these halls. I think Lauren keeps continues to give blessings. You can tell it from the Columbine High School pullover he often wears at the office. What are you doing? Where he's co-founder and president of Portview Preparatory School. I know you don't like vacuuming, though. Here in Orange County, California. <laughs> A role he might not have ever filled if not for an 18-year-old senior, Lauren Townsend, killed 25 years ago this week at Columbine High School. In some ways, it's become a partnership over the years, right? Like, I, I got you, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna keep doing this. Eddie was just a teenager here in California when the shooting at Columbine happened. And like the rest of the country, he was watching on TV as the tragedy unfolded, trying to make sense of it all. A short time later, he actually found himself inside Columbine High School, a trip to Colorado that in many ways would change his life forever. Eddie played rugby at the University of Arizona, where Lauren's family set up an award in her honor, the Lauren Townsend Award. And Eddie was the very first recipient. Just months after the shooting, he came to Columbine, met Principal Frank DeAngelis, and realized he had to find a way to honor the family that had just honored him. I wish more people had that kind of experience because it does add purpose and value to what you do. Look at you, buff guy. A long and winding path followed, leading him here to a school he and his business partner moved heaven and earth to open. So it's a very active environment. We've got fitness going on right now, and a lot of our kids, they have that part ingrained in their day. It helps them regulate. They now have two campuses in Southern California where they serve children and young adults with special needs. So he's gonna spin on the swing, and then he's gonna get back to work. Giving them the tools they need to learn, live, work, and contribute. Both of them have been with us since the beginning. It's the kind of work that brings purpose to his life. It instilled in me the importance of legacy. The kind of purpose Lauren's family had hoped for. Eddie makes Lauren proud, us proud, every single day of his life. His one hope is that his life's calling honors that Columbine teenager he never even met. What would you rather be doing? The one who still inspires him every single day. She was a blessing throughout her life and her impact continues to bless. Sure does. Eddie's an incredible guy. So is Lauren's family. And Lauren's mother, Don Anna, fought for years to have the governor declare April 20th a day of service here in Colorado. And that's exactly what happened this Saturday. Columbine student, staff, and alum will take part in community service projects to honor those killed at the school 25 years ago.